A family in mourning gathered earlier today to celebrate the life of their loved one, 28-year-old Markel Brown. He was a loving man. He was a quiet man. He only went to work at home. But Jackson police are still investigating after a lawn crew found Brown's body on Wednesday morning at Sykes Park with trauma to his face. Brown's mother, Angela Brown, says her son didn't return home Tuesday night and his phone went straight to voicemail when her and other family members tried to call. Brown says her son has a four-year-old son and was very consistent with going to work every morning, so she instantly knew that something was wrong. When Brown noticed her son was still missing Wednesday morning, she says she grabbed her keys to head to the police department. And on the way there, she arrived to the scene where police found Brown's car burned by a house on Valley Street. Annie Davis, a woman who Brown affectionately called Granny, says the best way to gain closure from this. The Lord don't want us to hate. You have to remove all hate our envy, our strife, our malice. You have to remove that from yourself. We're going to have to hug and hold and love each other. Jackson police released this surveillance video that briefly shows who they believe is the suspect who killed Brown. However, you can't see his face. Jackson police are asking for the public's help. They say if you have any information, call the Jackson Police Department or Crime Stoppers. I'm live in Jackson, Kennedy Cooper, 16, WABH News.